everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the brand new Wilder Core Hunters for the Cities of Sigmar as part of the Hunter and Hunted Warcry set. Yes, here they are. They're lovely. They're wonderful. They've got lovely little doggos and we're going to be painting the entire set today. Now, as you can see, I've only got five here because I've got five painting handles. But what we do have is we have the rest of the unit as well. So there's one plus a dog, then we have another plus another dog, and then we have the last two of our faithful hounds here and here. So we're going to be painting the whole unit today, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting up all of the humans first, and then we'll do the dogs at the end. And well, we're mostly going to focus on these five individuals here although to be honest not a lot is going to change between them as uh, we're going to go for quite a uniform look here although there are a couple of little alternate kind of swaps and things that you can do to make your in unit look a little bit more interesting but um yeah we're going to be focusing on these then we're going to do the four dogs and then we'll be all done <laughs> make sense admin out of the way so uh, they've all been primed in wraithbone and well we're going to grab our brushes going to grab our paints and we're going to get started in just a second but if you're as excited as i am please do like and subscribe youtubey things see you in the sec so the place we're going to start with all of our wilder core hunters is on the trousers and we're going to be using three colors to do these because we're going to be alternating so the colors we're going to be using are rattling grime black legion and agaros dunes and what we're going to do is we're going to start off with rattling grime I'm going to apply this over the top of our Chief Hunter's trousers. It's not his actual name. I just can't remember the name. <laughs> so we're going to get this all over. Just like this. There's a little bit of the back leg there that I can see. Just trying to figure out how to get to it. There we go, that's the angle. Like that. There we go, first one down. So, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna grab our next one, which is gonna be this guy, or gal. And the color we're gonna be using next is Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over this one's trousers.
like so. And then finally, we're going to pick our next one, which is going to be not that one, just pushed it over. Let's go with the Arbalest. I'm going to take the Agaros Dunes. I'm going to play this one over his trousers. So with that done, you should have two of each, except for one when you have three. So I've got three Rattling Grime ones and two Black Legion and two Agaros Dunes ones. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do something that's actually consistent across all of them. And that is to take some Gore Grunter fur. And we're gonna apply this over the top of their shirts. This is kind of their over shirts. So like this little bit here. of this guy. With that gore grunter fur applied, we're then going to take some Griff Hound Orange. I'm going to apply this to any kind of remaining shirty areas. So we've got this bit just here. This is because we're going to tie them to Hammer Hall Aksha. So with that all done, a quick update where we are on these five. What we're now going to do is we're going to take two colors. Once again, we're going to be alternating. So we're going to be using Cycle Brown and Black Legion here. I'm going to be alternating over the top of any cloaks and remaining kind of clothy bits. So for our unit champion here, we're going to take Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of his remaining of top cloak.
just like that. And we will do the inside as well. However, now that we've done that one, I'm going to swap over to this one. I'm going to use some Cycle Brown. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Saigor Brown and Flesh Terra's Red. I'm going to use this over the top of any belts, and pouches, backpacks, all that good stuff. And with that now done, we're going to take some Garagax Sewer and we're going to apply this to the braces and to the kind of wraps around the boots. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Black Legion and I'm going to apply this over the top of the boots. So with that done, we're then going to take two colours, Fire Slayer Flesh and Gilliman Flesh, and we're once again going to do some alternating. So I'm going to start here with the Fire Slayer Flesh, and I'm going to apply this over the top of this guy's face and his hands. that and then similarly on this individual I'm going to take get them in flesh
So with that now done, we're going to take some skeleton hoard and we're going to apply this over the top of any bed rolls or any ropes. And then next up, we're going to take a roughly one to one mix of contrast medium and wild wood. I'm going to use this to paint in any wood. So this is going to include any spears, axes, crossbows, you name it. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some black Templar and we're going to apply this over top of the beard here. And you could apply this over all of their hair if you wanted to, but you can also mix it up. But for the sake of this, we're just going to show the one. So with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to be applying this over quite a few different details. So we're going to be looking for any belt buckles, any weapons. Any helmets, any armor. A whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to apply this all over. However, this isn't our final base coat. We do have a couple of other things to do on the others which we'll have a look at in just a minute. Once we're done with all the Iron Warriors. So with that done, apart from one very glaringly obvious part of this guy, he is now ready for shading. And he is now ready for shading. So we'll pop them to one side. But we have the rest of our guys who have things like a little bit of fur, some crossbow bolts, and the actual bowstrings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade. And we're going to use this to paint in the fur and the bowstrings, but not the crossbow bolts. And with that Agrax Earth shade applied, we're then going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the arrow hafts. And with that Black Legion all applied, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this to the Fletchings. So, all of our base coats are now on, on all of our Wildercore Hunters. So that's three, four, five. And six, seven. As you can see. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some shades. Now, there's not going to be tons of shades here, but the first one is going to be some Reichland Flesh Shade. And we're going to use this to shade all of our browns. So we've got the ready ones that we did with that mixture of Saigor Brown and Flesh Tear is Red. We're not gonna use this on the wood, but we do want to use this on the Gorgrunter Fur and the Garagak Sewer. and over the top of the Griffhound Orange. And with that Reichland Flesh Shade applied, we're then going to take some Nulna Oil and we're going to use this to shade our black and our silver. So with that done, the hunters themselves are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And I think they look pretty special. <laughs> I think they look fantastic. Wonderful little unit, this one. And we haven't got to the dogs yet, obviously, because what we need to do next is take these guys to the next level. I'm just showing them all off. As you can see, looking great. And our last one. There we go. So what we're going to do now, is we're gonna take them to the next level and we're gonna do this by adding some highlights. Now, most of these highlights are consistent across the board. There's not really anything that's gonna to be too surprising. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by taking some thinned down scrag brown, and we're gonna use this to highlight any of our Gorgrunter fur and Saigor brown areas. So we're looking at areas such as the shirts and the capes that we did with Saigor Brown and Gorgrunter Fur. like that for one of the Gore Grunter fur shirts. However, for the cape here, it'll look a little bit more stark.
So with that all done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Bestigor flesh. I'm going to use this to add a little highlight to our orange. So with that best of all flesh all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down storm vermin fur. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our black details. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Karak stone. I'm gonna use this to pick out any stitching. Like that. A little bit more just here. And on the other boot. and on the other bracer. But what we're also gonna do with the Carrack Stone is we're gonna use this to highlight any of the wood. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down flayed one flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight all the skin across all of our men and women. So with that then done, we're going to take a teeny amount of Black Legion I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs and any teeth. And so with that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take a teeny tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. I'm going to apply this in the corners of the eyes. I'm going to use this to highlight the teeth. And we're going to use this to pick out any little bone clasps that they have. So with that done, all of our faces are now done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our final highlight for the Wildercore Hunters themselves, which is going to be some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all the silver. And with that, the humanoids of the Wildercore Hunters are now finished. So here is our Warden, as I've since learned. We have our Arbalest here. We have our Hunters, Pathfinder, more Hunters. I think one of them's called a Bark Skin or something like that. There you go. Marvellous. So, 
it is now time to work on the hounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three recipes. So we've got one for our warden, and then we're going to do two on each of these. So there'll be two different recipes on two different dogs. So we're going to start with this one. And the colour we're going to be using first is Soul Blight Grey. And we're going to apply this all over the top of the hound's flesh. With that soul blight grey applied, what we're then going to do is we will require black legion for all of these, but specifically for this one and this one, we're going to do black legion over the top of all of the hound's flesh. So that Black Legion applied to both of these hounds, on our two remaining hounds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Seraphim Sepia, and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of their fur or flesh. So with that done, all of our pups have got their first colours on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to next up take some Targor Raid Shade. And this is specifically just for this one here. And we're going to apply this over the top of his paws and then do a little bit of kind of blending. It's going to be a very soft and subtle colour. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the Targor Raid Shade like this, up the leg like that. Do it on the other side as well. And on the underside of the leg. Then we're going to wash the brush. And then we're just going to smooth out the colour so that it blends into our soul blight grey. Like that. So with that done, I'm then going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade and we're going to use this to shade our black dogs. So with that then done, we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and what we're going to do is over the top of our blonde dogs is we're going to do a little bit of kind of blending from the top down. So we're going to apply the Skeleton Horde, it's way too much. We're going to apply this over the top of the body like this and down the leg. Like that, just going to whisk off that excess just there. Then we're going to wash the brush and then we're just towards the bottom of the leg and the underside of the belly. We're just going to blend it out by just feathering away at that paint, like this. Same on the tail. 
So it goes from darker to lighter. And then we're just going to flip it over and do the same thing. Wash the brush. Same thing on the front legs. And the head. Sticking with our blonde pups just for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wild wood. We're going to do a little bit more blending here. And we're going to be doing this over the top of their paws, their muzzles, and their ears. So we're going to take the wild wood on our brush. I'm going to apply this over the top of the paw, like that. Then we're going to very quickly wash the brush. And then we're just going to get in there and blend it into. the rest of the skin. Do the inside. Wash the brush. And get in there. Just like that sort of thing. We're gonna do that on all four of the paws, but we're also, as mentioned, gonna do this over the top of the ears. So we're just gonna Apply the wildwood like that, wash the brush, reverse the model, and then give it a little blendy blendy, and then also around the muzzle. Wash the brush. And with that wildwood applied, we're then going to take some black templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of their noses. Their claws. Their toe beans. And the eyes. So with that Black Templar applied, we've actually applied this over the top of all three of these dogs and we don't need to do it over the other two because they're already black. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Volupus Pink. I'm going to use this over the top of their teeth and tongues and gums. Now on this one, as you can see, I've done the bottom lip with the black as well.
with that Volupa's pink applied, we're then going to take some Griffhound orange. I'm going to use this to paint in the little kind of soft padding underneath their harnesses. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. We're going to apply this over the top of the harnesses, the leather straps for all three of our brightly colored dogs, but not for our two black dogs, because it wouldn't make sense. So with that Black Legion applied, and then I'm going to take some Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this on the two remaining harnesses on our two remaining hounds. So with that all done, we're now going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the remaining details. So with all that silver applied, we're then going to take some Null Oil. I'm going to use this to shade the silver and the black. So with that done, just to make all of our dogs war hipster battle ready, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down screaming skull. I'm going to use this to just pick out all the teeth. So with that done, all of our hounds are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. There's our first three. Here is our other two. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take them to the next level. I'm gonna do this by adding some highlights. And the first of these is going to be a dry brush. And we're gonna to stick to this one just for the minute and get this one all finished up. But we'll do any consistent areas such as claws and black harnesses and silver and then we'll go and finish the other ones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start actually by taking some gray sear, and we're gonna use this as a circular dry brush over the top of our hound's flesh, just to kind of soften him out. Just like this. And with that Gracia dry brush done, we're then gonna take some pallid witch flesh. I'm gonna use this to pick out the sharpest points. So for example, this little scar just here and we've got the 
details around the head, like the ears, got this kind of elbow joint. And so with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to pick out the claws like that, and also to highlight the leather. And we'll do this across all of the black leather now. So with all of that Dawnstone applied, we're then going to take some Iron Breaker and we use this to highlight all of the silver. And again, I'm going to do this across all of them. So with that now done, we can finish off our first dog by taking some Deathclaw Brown and applying this over the eyes. And we'll do this across all of the dogs. Moving on now to our blonde dogs, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Morgast bone and we're going to dry brush this just like we did on our pale dog. It is in a circular motion over the top of all the muscles. So with that then done, what we're going to do is we're going to finish off these dogs because we've already done all the highlighting on the black and the silver, for example. What we're going to do is we're going to take some Screaming Skull once again, and we're just going to use this just like on the previous one to pick out the sharpest points in all the flesh. Finally, just to finish things off, we're going to take some thinned down Dark Reaper and we're going to use this to highlight the flesh of the black dogs. So with their bases complete, our Wildercore Hunters are now finished, as is the next step in our Grand Dawnbringer Crusade, consisting mostly of Cities of Sigmar. This really, really, really cool little unit. They also come as Battle Line, if you have any Steel Helms. For every Steel Helms, you can take one of these as Battle Line, which is really, really cool. I like the way they build the army, and they're just a really characterful unit. Really awesome, and very, very, very fun. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. 
Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.